This is the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of May 13th, 2024. And the subject this week, let's dive right into it. It is DirecTV for Senior Living Facilities. And let's you know, let's kind of back up a little bit because, you know, I don't want to say that DirecTV is only for senior living facilities or it's only for seniors because even though, you know, you could argue that satellite TV isn't as popular as it once was, I think it's still incredibly popular when you consider all of the other choices out there. It's also really important to think about the fact that, you know, when you when you look at it, when you really think about it, you got, if a piece of technology is good, it's going to have... Um, it, it's going to have its followers, and those followers are going to find it. It seems to me it was uh, about a week or two ago, I came across a YouTube video of a person who was clearly born in the 21st century who is geeking out over typewriters, and, and specific typewriters from, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. But the subject of this podcast isn't about the younger folks who are discovering television. This is about seniors. And you know, there's a, a whole generation of seniors. Look, I'm not the first person to bring this up, right? So there's a whole generation of seniors who are kind of coming in now, who are the folks born after 1945. And to them, television has been a constant companion for their entire lives. These might, This might be you. This might be your parents or your uncles or your aunts, or this might be your grandparents, depending on who you are listening to this uh, particular podcast. But put yourself in the mindset of these people that television has been there every step of the way for them. Television is what showed them the president was assassinated. Television is what showed them that somebody had landed on the moon or that, you know, or, or that the space shuttle blew up or September 11th or whatever. Their, their entire life has been defined by their relationship with television. So now you have this situation where a lot of these folks are retiring and that might mean that they're relocating, they're moving to senior communities or to maybe uh, in, in with a home with a, a younger person, whatever. And all of a sudden, they're feeling that television is being taken away from them, that that constant companion they've had their entire life, the way that they experience reality in a lot of ways is being taken from them. And they're being asked to accept that streaming is just as good or better or that it's exactly the same when it comes to something like a, a Pluto TV or, or Tubi or that sort of thing. When the truth of the matter is that there's this, this deep-seated desire to have real traditional television the way that they've always experienced it on a larger screen with a remote control and a box and all of this stuff that just makes it feel like television. And I'm here to tell you that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. And that is something that, you know, it's it's often very easy to say, oh, this, you know, the world has moved on from that. But if you're the sort of person who really wants to still have a great relationship with television, uh, who wants to spend your time watching every day, then there's an, A, nothing wrong with that, and B, there are options for you. More and more, we're finding this group of people moving into these, uh, like I said, moving into senior facilities or senior communities or moving in with younger people. But I want to talk about the senior communities part of that because, you know, people will move and it's a big change. It's a big change for somebody who has maybe had a standalone, you know, single family home their entire life. And all of a sudden they're moving into a community that's a little bit different. And one of the things that they crave at that point is some familiarity, some desire to, you know, experience things the way that they've always experienced them. And that's where television can come in. The whole purpose of this podcast is really to hopefully reach a few people who are involved in really running these senior communities and if you're or maybe reach people who know who those people are and let them know that you can give your residents exactly what they're craving you can give them real television it doesn't have to cost an arm or leg it doesn't have to mean you have to do all sorts of rewiring because your community was built 50 years ago and it, it hasn't necessarily kept up with wiring it doesn't mean that you need to have all of this fancy equipment in the individual apartments that, you know, you're going to have to go and try to diagnose or something like that. There are simple solutions that don't take up a lot of space in a single equipment closet, 
go out to individual televisions, potentially using wiring that you may already have, and provide a real television experience, which is what your seniors are craving. That's what they're asking for. Oh, sure, for those seniors who want to be, you know, more digital focused, more streaming focused. I know that you're capable of offering that, but that's not really what I'm talking about in this particular case. I'm talking about real, honest television. There's nothing wrong with it. And providing it to seniors is, you know, what you're doing is providing what they want. And if you're in a competitive situation, if you're in a situation where you're trying to attract new residents, where you're trying to keep the complaints down and the requests for new things down, Look, I, I'm just going to put it this way. This is a generation that has been pacified by television their entire lives. And that's not a bad thing. It just is a fact. And you can take advantage of that. How can you take advantage of that? Well, that's where I come down to working with Signal Connect. You see, DirecTV is one of the few operators out there that has dedicated programs for senior communities. There's boxes like the amazing COM3000 system that allows you to use existing televisions with a small cable box-like remote on top that it, with a remote that's easy to use for the, the people who are using it. it. requires very little maintenance within the individual unit. All of the programming, all of that takes place in one place. The impact to the installation is very, very minimal. And if there are problems, it can be diagnosed remotely over the Internet. I mean, it's a win, win, win. And, you know, DirecTV, like I said, is is one of the few providers that's out there doing this kind of thing. If you've been wondering how you can do this, and you just need to be looking at DirecTV. And if you're looking at DirecTV, you need to be looking at the folks of Signal Connect. Signal Connect has over... 20 years of experience working in commercial and hospitality direct TV environments. And we can make sure that you get exactly what you need. We have a full enterprise team who will design the perfect system for you, make sure that it gets put together. And in a lot of cases, it, it can just be wheeled into place. You know, you disconnect one thing, you reconnect another thing, and you're done. And you're, uh, you know, all, all of your residents just have what they want. We make it easy, and we make it easy by providing high levels of customer service. That's what we are about. You know, I urge you, if you are the kind of person who runs this kind of community, to call the folks at Signal Connect at 888-233-7563. You're going to want to call because you're the kind of person who provides a high level of service to the people who give you their business and that's the kind of company that Signal Connect is too. We provide that high level of service. We provide that satisfaction. And we want to make it easy for you. We have programs that can limit your, your cost on the front end. It's, it's all there. We have the technical support. We have the planning. We have all of that. So do me a favor and, and call the folks at Signal Connect. 888-233-7563 is the number, like I said. And we're here during East Coast Business Hours. Uh, Signal Connect is the sponsor of the podcast. Uh, they're the ones who pay my salary, and I'm always very grateful for that. So do me a favor and give them a call. That's about it for this week's podcast, though. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It makes me look good to my bosses. And I will see you again next week. <music>